So we talked about the pre-op, let's talk about the post-procedure uh, treatment and what we need to do and not do, okay? So um, we're going to be doing lipolysis on your inner thighs, okay? And it, it's the, the post-procedure instructions are pretty much the same for wherever we do the procedure. The first thing is that when we get through today, I want you to go home and rest. Now, a lot of people get up and walk around and that's okay, but remember you're going to be a little tired and I don't want you driving or operating machinery or all, okay? And don't tell your husband, no, no, I feel okay. You're not to drive after the procedure, all right? Um, I'm going to give you the medications that we talked about in the pre-procedure. That's Vicodin if you're not allergic, Keflex if you're not allergic to penicillin, and the Ativan to relax you, okay? It's important for pain management that you not let it get out of hand. Now, you shouldn't have a lot of discomfort, okay? It should be a soreness. But the best thing I found is if you take two Advil and two Tylenol every six hours, that kind of manages the pain for the next 24 to 48 hours. If you have breakthrough discomfort, use one of the Vicodans. Okay? Um, I want you to call me immediately. I will be giving you my cell number. You call me 24-7. Do not hesitate to call me. If it looks like the area is getting red hot, like it's infected, you see little red lines or there's pus, you call me immediately. Okay? In fact, call me immediately if you have any worries or concerns. All right? It's because I like to hear from you. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, the other things we talked about, the hematomas and the seromas, you know, the complications. If you notice any of those things, do not hesitate to call me. Okay? So if anything's out of the ordinary, call me. All right? All right. Okay. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the garment. Okay? The garment is helping to keep your blood pressure up because it's squeezing you. Okay? If you take the garment off too fast, like when you're getting ready to get in the shower, it could cause your blood pressure to fall and you could pass out and hit yourself in the shower or something. So sit down and have your husband help you off with it. And then gently get up and see how you feel. I like my patients to rise up and down on the balls of their feet. That squeezes your calf muscle and squirts the blood back up. Okay? Okay. So. Um, again, we talked about the Advil and the Tylenol for pain. There will be drainage from your incisions, so be prepared for that. I'm going to give you a pack, some chucks that you can put on uh, your beds, uh, your bedding. I'll also give you some bandages. You probably should change uh, the, uh, the gauze as often as they get wet. When you come in tomorrow, I'll help you change them again. Okay. Um, the garment we talked about, trying to wear it as long as you can, two to six weeks would be good, okay? Um, it, it's a funny thing, the, the garments kind of make you feel secure, you'll have a love-hate relationship with them. You kind of love them but hate them because they just don't tend to, you know, they just kind of get unruly after a while. Um, I want you to remain active. If it hurts, stop doing it. Okay, so let discomfort be your guide. And every day you'll find you can do a little more and a little more. And I'll give you specific exercises for the area that we're going to be doing. Okay? Um, after the procedure, I want you to drink lots and lots of water to flush that out. Okay? One of the things that I want your husband or whoever's watching you to be aware of is one of the things that, that is very rare. It has to do with the lidocaine toxicity. Because the lidocaine is like novocaine. Okay? Now, I use the number of 55 milligram per kilogram as it never exceeds. So I look at your weight, I multiply that by uh, this never exceed dose, okay? And that's what we never give you more of it than, than, than you should have, okay? okay? So what are signs of lidocaine toxicity? Well, you can have a seizure, you could get lightheaded, your heart could, could beat a little funny. Um, it will usually happen within a four to seven hour period, but the lidocaine can stay in you for up to three or four days, okay? Uh, in terms of, of shaving in that, you probably don't want to shave for a little while, but if you can tolerate it, it's okay to shave the area. And I want you to put uh, ointment, uh, bacitracin or something on there, 
and there's something called scar coat or scar guard that you can put over after it stops draining in about a week and that will help minimize the scarring in that area okay and remember that you're born with the number of fat cells you'll have all your life they don't multiply each cell just gets fat or skinny okay so we're going to be removing fat cells from that area so in that area it's going to be very hard for you to gain weight however can you gain weight other places where the fat is still in yes because they'll get fat so diet lifestyle becomes very important okay so let's watch what we eat and what our activities okay so um, again don't hesitate to call me um, we'll be weighing you and you'll be reporting your weight with me do you have any questions about the post procedure no questions okay good. well then let's go do it yeah.